The abandoned mall stood before me like a silent sentinel of days gone by, its once gleaming facade now marred by decay and neglect. The air was thick with the musty scent of dust and mildew, mingling with the faint hint of something more sinister, an undercurrent of unease that sent shivers down my spine. I had always been drawn to abandoned places, fascinated by the eerie beauty of their forgotten halls and crumbling facades. But as I stepped through the shattered entrance of the mall, a sense of foreboding settled over me, a primal instinct warning me of dangers unseen. The corridors stretched out before me like a maze of shadows, the echo of my footsteps ringing out in the empty silence. The once bustling shops stood deserted, their windows shattered and their displays covered in a thick layer of dust, a haunting reminder of the lives that had once thrived within these walls. As I ventured deeper into the heart of the mall, the air grew colder, the darkness pressing in around me like a suffocating blanket. The scent of decay hung heavy in the air, mingling with the faint hint of something more sinister a scent that clawed at the edges of my consciousness, filling me with a sense of dread. But still, I pressed on, drawn deeper into the dark, hazy corridors by an irresistible curiosity, a desire to uncover the secrets that lay hidden within the decaying walls of the mall. With each step, the darkness seemed to grow denser, the shadows stretching out like tendrils to ensnare me in their grasp. And then, just as I began to feel hopelessly lost, I stumbled upon a staircase leading down into the bowels of the mall, a forgotten passage hidden beneath layers of debris and decay. With a sense of unease, I descended into the darkness, my footsteps echoing in the empty silence. The lower levels of the mall were concealed in darkness, illuminated only by the faint glow of my flashlight as I navigated the narrow corridors and winding passageways. The air grew colder still, the chill seeping into my bones and sending shivers down my spine. But even as fear gnawed at the edges of my consciousness, a strange sense of exhilaration took hold, a thrill of excitement at the prospect of uncovering the secrets that lay hidden within the depths of the mall. With each step, the darkness seemed to recede, replaced by a sense of anticipation that pulsed through the very air. And then, just when I thought I had reached the end of the maze, I stumbled upon a door, an old rusted thing with peeling paint and a tarnished handle. With a trembling hand, I pushed it open, revealing a sight that filled me with dread and disbelief. The room beyond was like something out of a nightmare, a chamber of horrors filled with twisted remains of the mall's past. Broken mannequins lay scattered across the floor, their limbs twisted and contorted in distorted poses, while shelves lined with decaying merchandise. But it was the figure standing at the far end of the room that filled me with the greatest sense of terror, a shadowy figure with eyes that gleamed like embers in the darkness its form shifting and twisting in the flickering light. With a cry of terror, I turned and fled, my footsteps echoing in the empty silence as I raced back towards the safety of the surface. But even as I ran, I could feel the presence of the figure closing in behind me, its malevolent gaze burning into the back of my skull like a brand. And as I burst out into the daylight, gasping for breath and trembling with fear, I knew that I had narrowly escaped a fate worse than death, a fate that lurked in the shadows of the abandoned mall, waiting to claim unsuspecting souls as its own.